Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Let's talk about the new Warframe free loot that you can get as Twitch drops for April 1st to April 8th. And no, this one isn't an April Fool's video. Those are only Excalibur Prime videos because that is what I will do every year until I die. Ha 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 ha. So what's going on for the Warframe drops is they're swapping out at 11 a.m. ET. And if you go down here, you can see there's still 14 days left of drops. You can check some of the news here if you want. It's on the 11th anniversary Warframe loot pool. So they have it down here. The general items and glyph drops. If I go boop to my desktop mode, you can see all of it right here. March to April, 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 April 8th to 15th for all of the glyphs. And then if we go further, we can see that now week two. This is week two of the Warframe directory wide Twitch drops campaign. Drop duration starting April 1st, 11 a.m. ET until April 8th at 11 a.m. ET, essentially. Of course, I'll be streaming a lot of hours, you know, I'll take breaks here and there, turn the stream off here and there, you know, but I will be streaming many hours doing a lot of 24 to 48 hour type streams. So the free Sarah Glass Shard and the free random grab bag tome mod is pretty big so i assume a lot of people are gonna be happy about that like it's a pretty big thing the sarah glass shard is a pain in the butt to farm for a lot of people it either takes a lot of time or like a good amount of standing i can't really remember and the tome mods are in similar position we just got dante the brand new warframe he can use every single tome mod in the game for grimoires tome mod whatever all at once and that means that if you don't have all of them but you have dante the tome mod grab bag is amazing so yeah remember to swing on by twitch.tv slash pupsker to get some drops in for some free loot of course but it is a twitch directory wide drop so remember to swing by other people's streams as well i know i'll be streaming a lot but you you know, just make sure to say hi to other people as well, because other people also will be streaming a lot of hours. So drop one for one hour is the Sarah Glass Shard, drop two for two hours is the Community Mother Graffiti Glyph, and then drop three for three hours is the Tome Mod Grab Bag. So there's some like things to remember. Warframe is saying you can get Twitch drop progress on iOS, but you cannot claim drops on iOS. I don't know how true that is. It might be a little bit buggy. All things considered, okay. You do have an entire week to get the drop, so remember that. People might have certain cookie settings, ad blockers, or browser settings that mess with the drop, so it's important to remember that. For me personally, in order to get the drops, I need to have the Twitch stream in its own tab popped out. Even if it's muted, it just has to be out in its own tab, not tabbed out. So as long as I do that, I'm always good, but... Hey, I don't know what the settings are for other people, but I can't say. Other than that, just watch one, two, three hours on anyone's stream. Remember to have your Warframe connected to your Twitch and your Twitch connected to your Warframe and vice versa. If you don't get your drop, wait some time. And, and if there are issues after like days, you might have to relink your Twitch to your Warframe and your Warframe to Twitch in case you are still on like an old drop system or anything like that. So this is week two, you still have a whole week to get this done for a little bit. So let me know what you think. I feel like these are pretty big drops, so it's probably gonna be a little more hype than before, but either way, nice. And then week three, just to quickly go over, I'm curious what everyone thinks about it. You can get some void plume pinions, some community cavalero grif uh, graffiti glyph, I can't speak. And then you can get an archon shard grab bag so that's april 8th to april 15th either way let me know what you think which is the best week week one okay it's probably the worst week week one week two or week three i'm assuming people will say week two or three is the best with week three being the best because of archon shard for a lot of people and week two being the best for a lot of people because of the tome and sarah glass so Two might be the best for a lot of people. I'm just kind of curious. Let me throw this up on YouTube and see what the general consensus is for a lot of people. But with the Tome and Sarah Glass Shard, I imagine it's gonna be week two, but hey, we'll wait and see. So remember to swing by the stream, 
follow, sub, throw a Twitch Prime over at twitch.tv slash pupsker. Join the YouTube community down below if you want to financially support the channel. It's like a YouTube Patreon, right? So, hey, if you ever want to. Thank you, thank you, and we will continue on. Cheers.